The seven seed Iowa Hawkeyes looking to start off tournament play strong. Their first test, the 10 seed Davidson Wildcats. Let's head over to Seattle, Iowa, starting off strong with who else but Aaron White, really? But he puts down two hand slam there. Iowa up 16 13. The Hawkeyes helping each other out early. Anthony Clemens misses the three, but Adam Woodbury hammers the put back slam. Iowa looking good 31 19, but Davidson making things interesting. Jack Gibbs hits the deep straightaway three moments later. It's like deja vu. Jack Gibbs another three brings Davidson within striking distance 38 29 Iowa. Now let's go to the second half. Hawkeyes maintaining their lead. Mike Gazelle hits a, the three pointer there and then it's really the Aaron White show. White drives baseline and connects with the baby hook there. White again. He gets the inside feed and throws down the two hand slam and then Aaron White, you remember that guy? He gets the steal and drives for the easy layup there. The Hawkeyes pull away with a more than 30 point lead final score. Iowa 83, Davidson 52. Jay Kidwell, he's been following the team and he joins us live with what I'm sure are some very happy Hawkeyes in the locker room, Jay. Chris, the Iowa Hawkeyes had a fantastic Friday in the Pacific Northwest as they demolished Davidson by 31 points. And without a doubt, the star of the night was Aaron White, 26 points for Aaron White. After the game, Gable Lashaney having some fun about Aaron White's big night. Let's take a listen to some of the post-game reaction from the Hawkeye locker room. Coach has really beat it into us, man. Um, from Selection Sunday, I mean, the next day we kind of got a feel for him. We've been watching tape ever since. Um, we almost got sick of watching him on tape. We were just ready to play the game. Um, and I think you saw that from the opening start. We were into him. Whitey was tremendous tonight doing what he does, you know, putting up points, rebounding, um, being the leader that he is. And, you know, he's kind of the heart and soul of this team. Um, he realizes this is his last go around, and, you know, he's looking to make a run in this tournament. It was okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> it was a decent performance. I wanted, I wanted to score more points, but... Uh, he's, he's an okay player. I'm not, I wasn't. I wasn't too impressed. Yeah, I mean that's the Big Ten style of play, trying to impose your will on another team. And uh, I mean we've been through the wars over the last couple of years with those, with these guys on my team. So I mean we knew what the game was going to be all about, and we knew we had to come out fast, come out strong. And uh, I was glad the way we showed our showed our character came out well today. I was just feeling it. Uh, you know, you get in the zone sometimes. Um, coach was running stuff for me. Uh, hit a couple hook shots. Uh, made a couple threes. Teammates were finding me. So. Uh, yeah, I was scoring the ball, but my teammates were giving me the, giving me the ball in the position to score. Uh, coach was running stuff for me to score. That was some game by the Hawkeyes as they got the job done and they won their first NCAA tournament game in 14 years. So that monkey is off their back. Now they get ready to play Gonzaga on Sunday. And these folks are all fired up about Gonzaga, I'll tell you that. And it's not raining here. How about that? All right, for now, Jay Kimball live in Seattle. Chris, back to you, buddy. All right, thanks, Jay. After two days in Salem, the Augustana Vikings finally took the court today with a shot at the national title on the line. Augie taking on the Babson Beavers in the final four. Vikings up three midway through the first half. Jawan Strotter pushes it ahead to Tavian Johnson, and Johnson slams it home. Can someone call ESPN? That's some top 10 material right there. 19-13 Vikings after the free throw. Then off the inbounds pass, Ben Ryan to Dylan Sortillo, who drains the corner jumper. Augustana up eight, and Augie up 10 just before the half. Griffin Pills with the nice bounce pass to Tavian Johnson. Johnson can't get the bucket to go, but Brandon Motzel tips it in right before the half. 32, Augustana. Second half, Babson makes a comeback. Beavers up two with seven minutes to go. Griffin Pills with the pretty step back three there. Augustana, 46, 45. Then after Babson retakes the lead again, it's Hunter Hills' turn to get in on the action. He connects from downtown and Augustana once again on top, 49-47. Exclamation point there. Everyone celebrating. Augustana ends the game on a 22-1 run. How about that? They win 68-48, and they're moving on to the national championship game. Elliot Polikoff is live with some very happy Vikings. Elliot? Chris, the Augustana Vikings still have one more game to go to win their first ever basketball championship, but some of these Carver crazies are already celebrating like they won the whole thing. Let's hear from some of the players on their big win over Babson. It's just a great feeling to know that we came out on top and we get a chance to play one more game. And that's pretty much been our mantra the entire year is just 40 more minutes and just 20 more minutes and 20 more minutes. Just keep going and keep doing what you got to do. What you saw uh, when that game was in the balance was about as mentally tough a team uh, as you can imagine. And they uh, just have a tremendous will to do what it takes to be successful. Everybody wants to win. Everybody has the will to win. These guys will do what it takes to win. That's especially true for the seniors on this year's team. 
with everybody being here and certainly with the students and not only just my family making the trip, um, but just on the national stage. I mean, it, it's huge for me confidence wise. Um, but then the possibility of this being my last game, I mean, I, I couldn't have prayed for anything more. And neither could the Carver crazies who made the trek out to Virginia. Oh, it feels amazing. It feels great. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, we're, we're very lifetime. excited to attend this game right First now. time in history, hopefully winning the championship. <laughs> we're champs, dog. Not champs just yet, but just one game away. Augustana will take on Wisconsin Stevens Point at 2 p.m. Central Time for the national title. How are you guys feeling about this one? <laughs> Augustana has got this one, Chris. Back to you. You guys said they're feeling pretty good, Elliot. And with all the fun you guys are having out there, it's easy to forget about the UNI Panthers. They got this whole day of winning started this afternoon, edging out Wyoming to move on. Now to Seattle we go. UNI looking to start off strong, and they do. Paul Jesperson nails an early three. Panthers pull ahead 16-9, and they just keep on rolling. Second half now looking to pad the lead a little. Matt Bohannon from deep gets the three, 40-24. UNI now in the bag, right? Not if Wyoming has anything to do with it. Ten minutes to go a 21 point lead slim down to seven seven uh, this three here by Charles Hankerson Jr. But the Panthers they're not having it. They're looking to expand a cozy lead again and they do a Nate bus three makes it 62 48. The lead would stick this time. You and I moves on with the final of 71 to 54. So three games today, three victories and we're just getting started. We'll have more coverage throughout the weekend. Let's keep that momentum going. Hard to think of a better Friday. I know it really doesn't get better than that. And after the disappointing loss yesterday, nothing but up.